This child was lost during the violent riots in Philadelphia, wandering around barefoot in an area that was experiencing complete lawlessness. The only thing this Philadelphia police officer cared about in that moment was protecting this child. The city of Philadelphia will pay $2 million to a black woman who was pulled from a car, beaten by officers, and had a toddler used for social media fodder by the police union. Oh my god. Wow. That is... That is... That is unfathomable. That is f***ing beyond. We are not your enemy. We are the thin blue line. We are the only thing standing between order and anarchy. After beating up a woman and stealing uh, uh, her toddler to use her for a fact check. Quickly fact check before you go off, King. I mean, do you think Philadelphia would be giving them $2 million for funsies? The, I think the fact check is the $2 million settlement. If you want, we can take a look at the NBC article, but hold on. Don't be hyperbolic. What am I being hyperbolic about? Chill out. Philadelphia to pay $2 million to black woman beat by offers separated uh, from toddler during unrest. The union later claimed on social media that officers rescued her lost toddler. Am I exaggerating this? Is this I'm sorry, is this being exaggerated? Or are we also brain poisoned? We can't recognize that cops are a legitimately horrible institution. Of Rakia Young's car. I will never forget what those officers did to us that night. It was October 27th, 2020. In this cell phone video, you see what Philadelphia police officers smash the windows of Rakia Young's car. The officers then violently yanked Ms. Young and her nephew from the vehicle and physically beat her and him in the street, causing significant injuries. Ms. Young's son was also pulled from the vehicle by the Philadelphia police officers and taken away from his mother. What happened to her was unconscionable and um, should never happen to any citizen in the city. And uh Yeah, I remember the video. I just didn't realize that was the car they pulled the toddler from. Officers involved were being disciplined and we had to, we had to pay up for, for what it is that happened to her. The city will pay $2 million to settle any claims. Philadelphia police tell us two officers were fired. 14 others are now awaiting disciplinary hearings. However, this does not end the story. It continues with a lawsuit filed by Rakia Young and her attorneys against the National Fraternal Order of Police. Uh -huh. The NFOP posted this picture to so Let's go! Going in for round two! Second lawsuit! She's already getting the settlement for two million and she's like, nope! Nope, that's not enough! I don't just care about taking Philadelphia's money. We're going after the National Fraternal Order of Police, too. You gonna use my fucking kid for a social media op? No, 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 no! Social media of Rakia Young's son in the arms of an officer that night with a caption that reads in part, this child was lost during the violent riots in Philadelphia wandering around barefoot. We are the only thing standing between order and anarchy. All of this was done one week before a contested national election in order to advance the political interests of the NFOP. For them to portray- The, uh, the Fraternal Order of Police? has over a third of a million members. It's not just some like little Facebook group or whatever. This is like one, isn't this like the biggest like national police org basically? Like this is their basically like lobbying block. The org attempts to improve the working conditions of law enforcement officers, the safety of those they serve through education, legislation, information, community involvement, employee representation. It has labor lodges and fraternal lodges. It lob yep, it lobbies Congress and regulatory agencies on behalf of LEO. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. And me as this type of mom who wouldn't know or care what her child was while chaos was happening. All around was very hurtful. As for the officers involved, Rikia Young and her attorneys want the district attorney to prosecute them. What kind of charges do you Get want the district attorney to file against these officers? Murder. No, sir. Aggravated assault, recklessly endangering another person, simple assault. This was nothing more than a, an attack uh, that would be perpetrated by any random street thug. Oh, would she, why would you unfull screen the video to switch to the next? What? Remember, guys, cops, the thin, the thin blue line, the thin blue line protecting you. Attack. Uh, that would be perpetrated. The thin blue line protecting you from chaos. Anarchy and order, okay? And they're standing there protecting you. Let me get that clip one more time, right at the beginning. In 2020. 
In this cell phone video, you see Philadelphia police officers smash the windows of Rakia Young's car. Like, look, they're all swarming around it like bugs. Aren't those all cops? I mean, the video sucks, but they're all wearing the same uniform. Look, they all got the helmet. In this all cell phone the, these, video, you see Philadelphia police officers smash the windows yeah. of Rakia Young's car. The officers then... Jesus. In 2015, the Fraternal Order of Police called for a boycott of Quentin Tarantino's films following his comments against police brutality at a protest in New York. Very nice. Very, very nice. They called for a boycott of the Beastie Boys and Rage Against the Machine for their support of Abu Jamal, uh, a, um, a journalist who was convicted of killing a Philadelphia police officer in 1981. I don't know the details. Uh, uh, they condemned Nike after Nike featured Colin Kaepernick, said Kaepernick's views were uninformed and inflammatory. Uh, very nice. I like that. Very, very good. In 1991, they were under scrutiny from the public. Oh, I like the controversy section. Nice and big. Because of the Rodney King incident. The president of the FOP at the time contextualized the incident by saying you have to put things in proper perspective. These are not common occurrences. These are a result of stress of the job, emphasis of the system on the criminal and not the victim, and the media's exploitation on the negatives of law enforcement. So when they pulled... Rodney King out and beat the shit out of him over nothing. It was they were just so stressed, man. They were just so stressed. If only the media was nicer to us, we wouldn't have. Hey, if you're the kind of person who beats the shit out of like citizens for no reason, then you probably shouldn't be the cop. If if stress leads you to assault people, then you should go to where people go when they're like that kind of person, which is jail. Yeah. What other job does being stressed entail a legitimate excuse to commit assault and battery? Only a cop. Only a cop. And they got away with it, too. Human rights group Amnesty International criticized the FOP for their vocal support of the death penalty in the case of Mumia Abu-Jamal. Uh, let's see. On September 18th, 2009, the Providence Journal reported the Fraternal Order of Police, representing several Rhode Island police departments, had solicited donations from city massage parlors or spas. Oh, cool. Racketeering. Watchdog groups have claimed these massage parlors are fronts for prostitution. Hey, that's a nice illegal business that you've got going on over here. It'd be a shame if somebody, you know, arrested all of you. Jingling a little cup. That's lit. This is, th that's what this is. This is hustling. They're, this is literally gang behavior. On August 27, 2017, at the FOP was holding its annual conference in the, the Gaylord Oprahland Resort and Convention Center in Nashville. I'm a fucking child. Tennessee, protesters compared the FOP to the Ku Klux Klan by putting up banners on interstate overpasses, one of which read Grand Wizards to Grand Lodges, White Supremacy by Another Name. Based! In July 2018, the Fraternal Order of the Police Tri-County Lodge No. 3. Do they have to sound like the fucking Illuminati? In South Carolina objected to the inclusion of award-winning novel The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas and All American Boys by Jason Reynolds and Brendan Cayley uh, in a high school summer reading list. Ooh, I like that one. Police unions protesting the inclusion of school curriculum. That's nice. Because they're depictions of violence by police officers. Love that. Love police officers protesting against children reading books because those books include... Instances of police violence. Hmm. Don't like that one. The National Coalition Against Censorship offered the high school support, while prominent authors such as Hari uh, Kunzru and Neil Gaiman, hey, Gaiman, my man, pointed out the alarming nature of police officers trying to police what Pete children read. That's what I'm talking about. After the murder of George Floyd, the FOP said, in part, Police officers should at all times render aid to those who need it, need to treat all of our citizens with respect and understanding, and should be held to the very highest standards of conduct. In June 2020, the Fraternal Order of Police's Brevard County, Florida chapter offered on Facebook to recruit police officers from forces involved in the police brutality controversies from Buffalo, Atlanta, and Minneapolis. The Brevard County Sheriff denounced the remarks. Nice! And then we get the thing that we're looking at right now, the thing that spurned this, which ends with the posts were later deleted. And then finally, 
On April 15th, uh, the same day Chicago Police Department body cam footage of the Adam Toledo shooting was released, John Kentanzara, president of the Fraternal Order of Police, said the officer was justified in his actions. He was 100% right. He said the offender still turned with a gun in his hand. The claim is heavily disputed in the video appear as the video appears to show Toledo turning towards the officer and raising both hands with nothing in them when he was shot and killed. Wasn't uh Adam Toledo was the yeah, was the kid. Yeah. He was the kid. Oh. Still uh pointing a gun. He turned with the gun. This is this is the yeah. This was when the uh, the kid had a gun, but then dropped it and then turned around with both of his hands empty, right? Because there were so many police killings. I can't keep them all in my head. Yeah, but this is the one where that happened, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, what good organizations. What, what good, good boys in the police. Hey, I wonder what the police in general are like if the organizations that are meant to represent them act like this. Really makes you wonder. I don't know. You know, pol people, have, uh, people have accused me at times of, uh, you know being very very mean to the police sometimes they're pretty bad guys i don't know sometimes they're a little mad